today is a shit day. I just did my makeup, normal everyday makeup, hair's down. Yeah, I'm just waiting. Rachel's gonna pick me up at nine so we can go shoot. And I'm just chilling, I gotta change my outfit. I gotta pack my bag. I'm a little nervous. Sunday, I fly out tomorrow. Today, Rachel and I are going to do one of those swamp tours on the airboats. And like, we might be doing like a photo shoot later. I think we definitely are. So we're doing a photo shoot. I'm a little hungover, but I have been chugging water and slamming PB&Js. So, <laughs> so we're gonna go do that. Oh, and we, I'm a little hungover because the filming went really well yesterday. And we even got done early. It was really fun. The cast and crew were so much fun to work with. Everyone was so nice and welcoming. Felt like I was like back in college doing like those productions and just like hanging out with a bunch of cool people. So, and then we like grabbed a couple of drinks to celebrate. And then me, Rachel and Jeremy were playing poker at his table right here. I've never really played poker. And I think I won one hand. He's a release gator from an alligator farm. Mm. So the farming of alligators has lowered the price, so they're hardly hunted at all. Explaining uh, Mardi Gras. Explaining Mardi Gras. So, like I was saying, so everybody, during this whole two month period, everybody is eating a ton of king cake, having balls. It's a season and there's like little parades all the time. And then, like, two weeks before the actual date of Mardi Gras is when things start getting crazy and that's when all the bigger crews and like parades start like rolling out and the city starts going nuts and everything gets basically shut down. It's kind of awesome. It's okay. like the last party before Lent starts. So okay. that was the original idea behind it. And that was brought over from like Europe and there's like a Brazilian influence. It really got started making fun of this Russian duke who came down. Like they were, it was like the, the Mardi Gras parade part was like making fun of royalty. Like the day that everyone thinks about. Yeah, the day okay. that like, yeah. All the big day stuff that you see, half of that's not on that day because all those big parades oh, are happening really? for like two weeks. And then there's like the five days Okay. of Mardi Gras that like includes Mardi Gras day. So like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. That's six days. <laughs> <laughs> um, Non-stop parades all day, every day. Okay. Like that's the biggest, biggest, biggest ones. And so that's what, that's what most people think of when they think of Mardi Gras. It's actually mainly a family event, but there are places that you go that you typically see that absolutely go batshit crazy. Yeah. And it is the beads and the boobs. What, and are the, what is the 
the what the, the I don't get the beads. Supposedly the like the the purple, uh, green, and gold were supposedly the Duke's colors. I've heard that okay. that might be wrong, but it's also supposed. It's also warning. <laughs> uh, whatever you call, like, whatever read it. Our warning. Okay. No, it's not really. But like, it's supposed <laughs> to be like the <laughs> the colors of a hickey. Like, okay. The colors that a hickey turns. Okay, no one knows that. But yeah. Like, people just like give out beads. No, they throw them. You throw, you but gotta like, catch the beads, but it's not just beads. You understand? Every parade has a signature throw. So they got all, you can catch, okay. you can catch clothes, you can, there's shoes, there's coconuts, there's all kinds of, you want to get the signature thing from each, okay. like, parade, it's just, it's crazy. <laughs> No, it won't. Not, not, not even close. It. You could jump on it and it's not going to do anything. Hello. Okay, I am editing the video you are watching right now, and I just wanted to recap and say how much fun I had in New Orleans exploring and filming, and Rachel is an amazing tour guide, and Jeremy is so nice for letting me stay at his place, and we hung out. I hung out with mostly them for the time that I was there, and it was just so much fun, and I feel like I've known them for such a long time, and they've become such fast friends. So I just wanted to say thank you to them and for everything, and then besides that, um, I really hope you guys take a chance to look at the short film trip roasted when it comes out taking this trip and doing the project the goal was not to like create the best thing ever made or the funniest skit ever it was really just me saying yes to something me thinking how cool it would be to go visit louisiana and meet some people that are working in the tv and film industry down there and also it got me more writing credit since i want to write more scripts so it's just something i said yes to i'm so glad that i went and i hope you guys check out the film when it comes out <laughs>